Have you ever stumbled upon one of those moments where you had to stick two pieces of metal together for mock-up or tacking or welding and you were kind of mad that you weren't born with three plus hands? Well, I have too, but I've got a really awesome solution for you that I'm going to show you in just a moment on today's episode of TFS Fast Fab, a quick fix, modification, or a full length episode in under five minutes. It's also the first video of the new shop, so let's get on it. So I'm going to show you a few different ways here that people uh, stick pieces together and uh, weld them. Uh, since we're not born with three hands, we got to find ways to, you know, say tack up some tubes here. So I got six tubes here, uh, one short, one long for each type of uh, tape that we're going to use. Now here are the most three common types you see in the fabrication industry, one being masking tape. The centerpiece on there is uh, HVAC tape, sometimes called foil tape. And on the left is polyethylene terephthalate, which is uh, PET or PET tape for short so don't ask me to say polyethylene terephthalate after this because that's a yeah takes a lot of practice so what we're gonna do is we're gonna tack them all up uh, the exact same way one tack on each side 180 degrees apart this is all 16 gauge 6061 aluminum now notice on the masking tape there we pretty much just set it on fire and it becomes extra sticky extra sticky meaning it leaves this nasty residue behind and this residue is not something that we want to go back and have to clean up I mean it sucks having to do that so let's switch over to another common type this is the uh, foil tape sometimes called HVAC tape uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt to work with in fact I literally just went out and bought this roll just before shooting this episode because I don't use it now it works out exceptionally well it's great for heat dissipation and all the rest of that stuff but there's one thing which I'll show you that it's uh, absolutely terrible with and the other thing that this is not a uh, smell tube so once I get to buzzing it on here after I get my gloves on and grab a hold of the welder you'll probably see that there's a lot of stuff that starts burning off of there and that is actually the adhesive getting cooked and the smell of it is absolutely foul and I'm sure it's probably really really bad to be breathing in so you know that's one thing I don't like about it uh, the cool thing is it does not catch on fire but let's uh, check this out look at all of that residue it leaves behind after getting heated up now this is only after a couple tack welds so that's a lot of stuff to be on there and that you have to go back and clean up and that's not something you really want to do so we'll move on let's get into PET. Now what exactly is PET? PET is polyethylene terephthalate. Okay, I said it again. It's a tape that is very high heat resistant and allows you to hold parts together for mock-up or tacking just like we've been doing this entire time. So we'll set it up the exact same way. Cut the center section out. Let me get my gloves back on real quick. Grab a hold of the weld and we'll start buzzing. Now, it will withhold several hundred degrees, about 400 degrees plus before it really starts wilting away on the sides of it, but it will not catch on fire. It withstands a whole lot of uh, uh, temperature, varying grades of temperature, a few hundred degrees. And uh, when we peel it off of here, let's get in close, check this out. There is no residue left behind. That means that we don't have to go back and clean up, we weren't choking on fumes, and we didn't set anything on fire. That is a really awesome tape. Now check this out. We'll put all of these side by side here. Look at the amount that was left over, how much you had to use versus the result. First the masking tape, which we caught on fire, left some residue. Of course, we left a little piece over. The HVAC tape, we uh, had a lot of residue. It was a little bit more difficult to set up and we have a whole lot of pieces left over. Now the PET, nice and clean, only a couple of small pieces. Now here's how you maximize efficiency on this roll here, getting the most out of it. Notice how we didn't bake off any adhesive or anything because it's high temp, high heat, and it will stand it, which means we can put it back on another piece and stick it all together, which is really awesome. So let's check this out for a minute. Here's another use you can use for it. When I weld like blow off valve flanges and stuff like that onto the tubes, when I do an intercooler piping fabrication, take a piece, hold it right across the top there, and voila, it stays on there, just like that. Now you can see this is definitely one seriously awesome tool or a roll that you need to have and it can last for quite some time. So I mean, even if you just use a couple small pieces, you stick them aside and you're good to go for the next round. Now you can definitely see the PET tape is a very clear choice of a tool that you definitely need to have next to your welder in your toolbox or in your arsenal when it comes to welding, fabrication, tacking, and everything else related to the subject. Because it quite literally solves the problem of us not being born with three plus hands. That's going to wrap it up for this episode of TFS Fast Fab. Don't forget to check out this hashtag. Every single time one of those uploads, you'll find it as long as you know how to search. I want to thank you guys for watching as always. Don't forget to subscribe to the Fabrication Series YouTube channel, and I will see you guys on the next episode.